Hi, my name is Audien Pax, and I'm the technical marketing manager here at Iron Scales. And today we're talking about Starter. Uh, we released Starter about six months ago, and it's been really popular with customers. Um, Starter makes it easy to sample some of the features found in Email Protect and Complete Protect. One specific feature that we've uh, received great feedback on is Starter's ability to deliver phishing simulation testing and training. And that's not surprising, really. If you look at the options available to a lot of businesses, um, they're either typically a do-it-yourself or really expensive commercial options. Doing it yourself means you have to know how to create a convincing current phishing email um, to test your users. And then you also need to uh, create a landing page if they click on a bad link. And then after that, if you've created both of those, then you also have to find a way to deliver that in a way that will be um, will spoof the sender and will get through whatever uh, um, gateways you might have, for instance. So that means you might have to add a, you know, uh, make, make whitelist changes to be able to enable the delivery of those. And then doing that on a regular basis and every time you hire a new employee is, is kind of a pain. What you're really looking for is you're trying to find a way to improve your employee's ability to uh, help you stop phishing. And you also might need to run reports uh, to be able to do that for, for that purposes or also for uh, um, compliance or insurance reasons. So reporting is a whole other aspect of that that's challenging. So then mean, you then you look at commercial options and the commercial options are limited actually because they're usually there's not a lot of purpose built um, solutions that only do phishing simulation. They're typically part of a larger solution. So that means you're going to end up having to buy um, overpay or buy something that's um, bigger than what you need and has a lot is a lot more complicated to use. So that explains why Starter is really attractive to a lot of customers because it's really straightforward. You're, it's, first of all, it's free. And um, and it's really good at uh, doing phishing simulation training and reporting. So I've invited the product manager for Starter to join us today. David, why don't you give viewers a, uh, a tour of Starter and show them how you create a phishing simulation uh, campaign? Yeah, absolutely. It's very simple. You click on the simulation button right here. And uh, you start setting up the campaign. So first we give it a campaign name. And then we choose the campaign participants. So we can either just search by name or departments, or we can choose one of our featured groups. Our featured groups are constantly updated segments of your uh, of the of your possible participants. Uh, and we can take it, for example, never targeted by efficient simulation campaign. You could also choose to send a simulation by awareness level. And I'll explain in a little bit what that means. So we currently have three participants that were never targeted by a phishing simulation campaign. And now we choose when to launch the campaign. So we'll start on the 16th. We'll choose the launch date and date. And now to keep it fair and to make sure that you know, noise around the office doesn't tell people that we're actually sending out uh, a campaign. It, we always recommend to send the emails at random times. This just ensures that people won't talk to each other like, hey, did you get what I just got, right? And we will just send it randomly within, uh, between the launch date and the end date of the campaign that you selected. Then we go to the second step, selecting a template. So selecting it, the template is the email that we sent out, the phishing email or the simulated phishing email. And we constantly refresh the templates that we have. We currently have over 150 templates translated in over 10 different languages. And they're all based on actual phishing instances that we detected in the past uh, and that are relevant. So we can go, for example, to the invoice attachment. We can look at what it looks like. Then we just select it and we move to the next stage. Next stage is the landing page. And the landing page is the page that you will land on if you fell for the phishing campaign. So you clicked on a link that you were not supposed to click on. We can go for the scenario explainer, which is the oopsie page. That will also give you some kind of insight of where you could have paid attention to. And because we'll get there in a little bit, pay attention to the video link right here. 
I select it and move to the next stage, which is where we select the training module. These are videos that they get to once they get to that landing page and click on the link, watch video. And it will give them the tools to recognize phishing video, phishing attempts in the you know next time they get it. And next time you'll test them by a simulated campaign, you'll be able to verify that it actually worked. So we have a selection okay. right here of three videos. Select one and click next. And all you need to do right now is to review that you set it up as you want. We always recommend to send a test campaign to yourself and you click on launch and that's it. The emails are being sent out at random times in between the time frame that you selected. And once they get to the uh, to the recipients, to the participants, there are a few options. One is, like we said, they'll click on the link that they were not supposed to click on. They'll get the landing page that you selected and they'll watch the video that you selected. The other option is that they will report it because they just don't trust the email that you sent out. And that is what we're trying to get to. So with Starter, you can integrate our report phishing button. You can integrate it in Office 365 or on Google. And once they click on it, they'll either get a message of, this was a training, well done. Or if it wasn't a training and it was a real phishing attempt, they can report it and you'll be able to review it later in our instance part of the dashboard. Now it's sent out and we want to look at the results. So right here, we have everything that is either sending out right now or collecting or was approved. We can obviously also select some, uh, create some drafts. And we can see here that they sent out this campaign to 16 emails, five reported it. That means that they clicked on the button. Three were lured. That means that they clicked on the link that they were not supposed to click on. And two were trained. So they finished watching the video that you selected. We click on the icon right here and we get to the campaign results. So it's a little summary right here where you can look at the overall results within the company. But maybe more interesting is when you scroll down a little bit and you get the actual results per participant of the campaign. So here, for example, we can see that I got this email on the 28th of April. I didn't report, I read it, I clicked, I watched the video, and then with a good part of our videos, we have this little multiple choice exercise at the end to make sure that you really understand it. And my score was only 40. So I feel next time you may just want to target me, right? With those features groups that I showed you at the, at the, at the very beginning for those that failed uh, the last simulation. So based on this campaign and campaigns that I got at the past, I got an awareness score. And that awareness level is what I spoke about earlier when we selected uh, the participants of the campaign. So if I'm not as good at recognizing them, then I may be a beginner. But Audien, I'm sure that you're much better than I am. You're probably an expert. Now, if, they, if we create a campaign for you and we select the expert, we'll give you a real tough one. Okay. So as you use this more often, then you can do much more targeted campaigns based on their awareness level. So if you have people that need a little more help, people like you, we're going to keep doing the basics, right? And then we have some people that are really hard to trick. We can keep stepping up the game and, and try harder to be able to, uh, to you know, to to trick them and uh, to see if we can, uh, you know, increase their uh, their ability to, to help detect phishing, which is the whole intent here. The goal here isn't just to trick people. The goal is to make every employee be part of the solution to help uh, help protect the company. David, thank you very much for taking the time to give us a tour of Starter and the phishing simulation training. If you're interested in uh, signing up for Starter, it's really simple. Just go to our webpage, go to pricing, and right there, you'll see the free option, Starter. It doesn't require a credit card or anything. You just fill out the form and we'll send you a link and you can get up, up and running in no time. Most customers actually can start 
uh, sending a phishing simulation training within 10 minutes after they get started.